using the insert command or how can I add one row of data. To insert a single row of data into a table, the column names must be specified or the field values must be in the exact same order as the columns are defined in the table. Here, we see a positional insert with no column names specified. And here, we see the insert command with both column names and values. Columns not specified in the insert must be created as null or not null with default. The values specified must be compatible with the respective column's data type or be convertible to that data type. Character and date time data types must be enclosed by quotation marks. Numeric data and the keyword null must not be enclosed with quotation marks. A value of two single quotes with no space between the quotes also symbolizes null. These statements do not return a result but your relational database will normally return a message showing that the statement executed successfully and it should show the number of rows affected by the change. An inserted value cannot violate a check constraint. See check constraint in a later presentation. An inserted foreign key value must contain null if it is allowed or an existing key value from the primary or unique key referenced by the foreign key. See primary keys and foreign keys in a later presentation. Now let's look at some examples. We see the customer table at the top with four rows of data. In yellow, we see a positional insert command to add a customer row to the table. Below that, we see the customer table after the command has been executed. You will notice the new row of data at the bottom of the table. The only information returned to you is that the command was executed successfully and one row was inserted. You should always use a named column insert so that the insert will always work correctly, even when someone has added columns, deleted columns, or changed the order of the columns in the table. Now let's look at a named column insert example. We see the sales table at the top with four rows of data. In yellow, we see a named column insert command to add a sale to the table. There must be the same number of column names as column values. Value 1 goes into column 1, value 2 goes into column 2, and so forth. Below that, we see the sales table after the command has been executed. You will notice the new row of data at the bottom of the table. Again. The only information returned to you is that the command was executed successfully and one row was inserted. We hope you found this information useful. Please come visit us at ComputerBasedTrainingInc.com for courses with more examples and labs where you create and execute complete commands.